like you're not just making an entrance and going to the ring you're actually getting the crowd engaged into the song and into your character uh that was something i learned from the independence like getting like i came out to jackson five you know my and cz when i debuted at czw um it was um sammy callahan's idea that really started that and then when i went over to the uk and then came back i noticed how the uk fans really take to certain songs and so when i was at uh, my mom's birthday party and everybody was sitting down all my family and relatives were just sitting down chilling and my uncle put on his aux cable on this phone and he played uh, Ain't Nobody by Shaka Khan and everybody got to start dancing. I'm like, that's going to be my next entrance song. So I switched it over, went over, it was like, it was like kind of like I matured in the wrestling game when my music matured, you know, when my entrance themes. So I went from Jackson 5 to Shaka Khan. Then I went from Shaka Khan to like Big Pressure. And then that was my own music. And that was produced by a prophet who has two Grammys. So um that had to turn into arena music from a a music from all over the all over the world no matter how big the arena from like you know gas south arena in atlanta to all the way to wembley stadium how's this sound song gonna sound the acoustics have to bang and sure enough it worked on both that's great too because it shows like the importance of a theme song for a wrestler like do you think that's lost at times when like it's just hidden that a lot of guys they're known with their entrance theme and what they make out of it do you think more attention needs to be paid to some younger wrestlers coming up uh it's definitely about timing and hitting when it needs to hit um sometimes it's not the the, the character isn't ready for that yet and sometimes you got to kind of work coincide uh, both have to match to me uh, I, I watch a lot of concerts and that's what helped with that as well um it wouldn't have made sense for you know tyler creator to come out with the certain songs and certain albums and points of his career because it wouldn't have matched up you know like uh earthquake wouldn't have worked when he was doing bastard album and doing you know um the when he was in d- doing the um wolf album it just it's just two different personas and it just doesn't match up but he he evolved and so did the the stage presence so did the outfit so did the sound you know, now it makes sense to, for this record to work with this part of your career in your life. You know, so that that's something that a lot of young people need to really understand and really pay attention to. Like your Videotron has to match the look, which has to match the entrance, which has to match the sound, which has to match the aura that you're giving off to the people and how they feel about you. They don't feel like bouncing and jumping after you hit someone in the car with a car in the backstage segment. It's just not going to add up. So all those things have to kind of match and line up and synchronicity that's why when i came over when i was let go from uh wwe and coming over to aw i just wiped the slate clean i wasn't going to carry over with the same thing i had to wipe the slate clean i had to start from start all over again i wasn't going to carry in any like x nxt wwe type of persona i was like no i'm going to start way over here and it works from here and even though if, like i could have got a head up in aw like just carrying over from what I was doing, but I was like, no, I'm going to start down here, but it's new, fresh all over like reset, hard reset. And then just go from build and rebuild from there and then build a new fan base that did. I'm not going to act like anybody ever seen or knew what I, who I was from over there. Some on the internet did, but the majority don't. And I'm always going to take the majority assumption that not everybody knew.